Welcome to the Lambda Gain Learning Center CRAN series, Chapter 2, DRAN. In this chapter, you'll learn how most telecom operators organize their existing radio access networks. You will also find out why this design has been called into question. DRAN, or Distributed RAN, is a distributed network because it spreads its processing power over many independent radio towers. These towers are known as base stations. DRAN base stations are designed to be independent. Each one can send, capture, and process data by itself. Let's take a closer look at the two main elements that constitute a DRAN base station. Remote radio heads. Located near the top of the towers, these devices control the transmission and reception of radio waves. Baseband unit. The BBU processes all the data sent and received by the base station. In DRAN, every tower has its own dedicated BBU, which is connected to its RRH through an optical fiber. All base stations are connected to a central base station controller where the towers can be monitored and managed from afar. While this has been the basis of telecom topology for many years, this model has also proved to be wasteful. Here are its main issues. Excessive cost. Independent towers take up a lot of space and have a large footprint. This means that telecom companies need to rent a large space for each tower, which can get particularly expensive in cities. Second, because each tower needs their own BBU and RRH, they consume a lot of electricity. The high cost of these independent base stations makes network expansion on the basis of DRAN financially not viable in the long term. Inefficient use of equipment. Investments in DRAN can be wasteful because independent stations cannot share processing power. Let's explore this issue using the example of a sports stadium. When a base station serving a sports stadium is being designed, it's assumed that big events will cause the network to operate at maximum capacity. In these situations, plenty of data will be sent and received by mobile devices and other services. A base station serving that stadium will be configured to meet those high demands. Of course, as soon as the stadium empties, data consumption in this area becomes negligible. Suddenly, all those powerful base station equipment will then be idle. This means most of the time, the tower's capacity is wasted. Inefficient use of radio frequency. In large cities, many radio cells are cramped in a relatively small area. The lack of coordination between independent cells forces the antennas to compete for the limited radio frequencies available. These challenges demand answers. Telecom companies are seeking efficient solutions so their networks can deal with increasing demands. One of the most promising solutions is a move away from DRAN, decentralized RAN, or CRAN. In the next section, we'll demonstrate how a move to CRAN can make radio access networks cheaper, more capable, faster, and more efficient than ever before. Thank you for watching the Lambda Gain Learning Center. See you next time!